In leadership, and especially when you run a business, when you're the CEO or the MD, of course, you're oftentimes, because of your role, expected to know everything. Mm. Uh, uh, but I think it takes humility to know that you don't know everything. Yeah. And it's also and good. Admit that. Yeah, and admit that. And, and, and it's yeah. fine to know, to not know everything. There's a lot of people who are much better in certain things than you. So I think as a CEO, I think that is actually where the magic is. If you can find the right people to do the things that you cannot do much better, mm -hmm. and you focus on the things that you can do and want to do, so at least the whole group is going to elevate if you put people in the right space, mm -hmm. right? Like Albert Einstein said, like if you want to, if you expect a, a fish to climb a tree, for example, then uh, it would think all his life that it's stupid, right? That's not the exact uh, proverb uh, sentence, by the way, but it comes down to that. Yeah. You need to put fish in the sea, and a monkey we can put in a tree. You know, it can yeah. climb up. And 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 I see that, man. I, I think old school leadership is very much like that. Okay, you're you're a fish. It doesn't matter. Just climb the tree, climb the tree. You can't do it, so you're stupid. You're out. Yeah. And isn't it beautiful, man? That if you have an organization, you have people, and you put people in the right place, and then suddenly you see these people evolve into like leaders. And I think yeah. that's one of the most satisfactory experiences that I've had uh, in, in in Indonesia, where I saw people like really blossom, man.